Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're playing Played Up. Specifically, we are doing some auto stakes, or at least that's the goal. This is a YouTube only run where I try to focus on telling everyone what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, um, and really breaking down a lot of the aspects of my thought processes for the game. Uh, with that being said, though, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, please give this video a thumbs up, uh, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, also, if you're not already a part of my Discord, you might see a couple names pop up here and there. Um, I do announce in Discord when I'm doing these recordings, so you have an opportunity to go ahead and visit and actually see yourself pop up into the restaurant, and you can see a couple names here pop up here and there. But let's go ahead and get moving on to day one. I've already done some rearranging, um, and you can see I'm really trying to minimize how far I have to run to do things. Uh, really, what I'll try to do first is get a couple steaks cooking. Uh, once they're in the raw state, uh, it's the most important part of that. So you'll see once you get them to that first layer, um, you can kind of go ahead and just keep throwing them on there. So we do have a well done and a medium. I will probably do a well done first here, and then I'll probably turn this one specifically into a medium um, I won't serve it we'll grab that and then we're going to immediately turn right back onto these serve them um, I won't be cleaning up plates the reason I won't be cleaning up plates is we specifically have three groups coming in I have three tables I don't need uh, the plates to cover me so I just won't do it um, and with that being said I will put the stakes up here for the rest of the run just because simply put I don't have to worry about um, going down to that bottom table anymore so we have three stakes built we're gonna throw some plates on them. Probably not the most efficient way to do this, um, but it is working. Uh, we have one customer this time. We'll throw that down there. We'll throw this plate up here, plate up here, and we have one more customer coming for the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slap the booking stand and just get it to the end of the day um, and prep another uh, rare. This is just in case um, I have to have a second one, which I don't. I'm only gonna have this one extra customer right here. Um, we'll see what they want. They just want a rare. Uh, and we move on to the next day. Uh, so our goals are definitely going to be getting the blueprint cabinet up right away and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, however, I know I can't buy much unless we have something crazy that pops up, which we can tell by those five items that these last two are the blueprint desk and the research desk. Uh, so those five items, nothing crazy came out of them. So we're just going to jump back in because every day we're guaranteed to get the blueprint cabinet. So I don't want to go ahead and waste my time running out there and grabbing it when I just don't need it because I don't have the money for the research desk. So if we're getting close, then we can start talking about the other section of the research desk. Um, and, and getting it and getting it completed and all that kind of fun stuff. So it is a rare for Huffle. There you go, Huffle, enjoy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking some more steaks, as I said. I do believe this time I have four customers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that dish really quick uh, and start firing up a full well done here, uh, place it right there, uh, and then continue on our merry way of creating plates and dishes. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to get a lot of singles, so that's going to stink kind of unfortunately for us. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a medium. There you go. Enjoy your medium. I should have probably started a steak uh, in there um, to at least get it done. There's our medium. I don't know why I grabbed that. I guess I was trying to be all slick and sneaky about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one of each, and then I will prep a rare uh and that should be enough for us. And then we'll just go ahead and start slapping the desk and get the last customers in here and see where it gets us. So <clears throat> this is just our, in case we need to cook a second uh, steak. We did get all singles this time. Oh no, we have a double top dice. So we'll get some good money here. We will buy the blueprint cabinet this day uh, specifically because we're going to get 13 bucks from there. We fall short of the research desk, but um probably tomorrow most likely uh, based on the number of groups we have i think it's going to jump up to five if i remember correctly uh which it does um we should be able to buy the research cat desk tomorrow um so we're just going to go ahead and grab that really quick uh reason being is as i said uh we will be buying the research desk tomorrow so we want to get that upgrade moving as soon as possible um, outside of that, we're going to have to start chasing, you know, things like, uh, dishes and automation and seeing how things go, but we'll go into day three. Uh, I could buy the prep station, but we don't need that yet. 
so I'll sit back on it and, and really focus on getting my automation and duplication and stuff up first. So we're going to throw down some more stakes, get them started up here. I'm just getting some plates distributed. Uh, as I said, this first one I'm going to leave. Oops, it's a medium, unfortunately. Um, so we'll see what they need. They need a medium. Perfect. So I like to keep at least one rare staying around um, initially when I'm working through the first elements of the processes here. Uh, the reason for that is the longest cook point, if you watch it, is going from uh, raw to rare. And so if you're sitting on a rare, it's a lot easier to upgrade that if you need it to um, than it is to start from... Uh, from raw. So what we'll do here is we'll try to prep up our dishes again. As I said, we're going to try to keep these plates moving, keep the dishes moving, try to get one selection of each and then have a standby steak, which is what the goal here is, is to have a standby steak. Uh, and that standby steak is the one that you use for when you have a dual that want the same dish. Right. Um, so we know this one's going to become a medium. We'll throw that down. We're still trying to get that rare built up. Um, we'll get it probably right before this last customer. Uh, and then it will actually be plated, and then we have our built-up cake, as, or built-up steak, as I said. So this is our spare steak in case we get a duplication of double well-dones, double mediums. You don't have to plate these. You could technically leave them open across the back table, um, but I just like to be able to grab them and move on. I'm not chasing plates across the whole area, but that's that. Um, I am thinking about moving my sink, though, next to the... Uh, st <coughs> the um, Bob, uh, reason being is that dishes, when you're slapping them, do give you uh, some cleaning effects on that. Uh, we got 37 bucks, so we're going to be adding that research desk. Um, we are going to be getting broccoli here. Uh, my goal is to make it where I can automate I'll automate all the steaks. So sides will be our priority, maybe even left cards. Um, but we're going to grab broccoli right off the bat here. Um, and we're going to have to get pots and stuff, but that's fine. This is easy peasy stuff. Not totally worried about it, uh, but as I said, I am going to be moving a couple things around here. Um, we need to go find that. Barring anything else out here, I don't see anything yet. Yep. All right, so we're going to be grabbing the research desk. That means we have upgrades now we have to do. Plus, then once we get the blueprint desk, if we get lucky, um, that means this booking desk will get tossed because unless you get something right off the bat, odds are you're going to need the time. Now... Uh, my plans here for the meat, um, I'm going to put the dishes back up here, as we talked about, uh, and I'm going to put the meat behind, and I'm going to move some of these cabinets up, um, and specifically the pots, and that should allow me to uh, go ahead and generate what I need from the game. Um, there we go. Uh, actually, I'm going to flip-flop these. So I'm flip-flopping these because I want to have access to the sink to throw the broccoli on and then start my dishes, and then I have to do research. Uh, so we'll make all that happen. I do want to have access to the outside world in case I need it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this started. So we're going to grab our broccoli, get that started, come up here immediately and start slapping the research. Fingers crossed we get the blueprint desk first. We got the copying desk, um, which does become the blueprint desk tomorrow. I don't hold me to that, but uh, I believe it does. Uh, I don't remember. Um, I should have moved those dishes. That was in, This is an oopsie. Um, but we'll probably use the same dishes in general. Um, and so we're going to let this one cook all the way down. We'll throw this one on to get become a medium here. And then we'll grab our quick broccoli here, throw it down, grab the well done, throw that down, throw this down, grab that plate. <coughs> And go ahead and throw that down, throw the rare down because we don't know what we need. We have our answer, we need a well done, so I'll clean this really quick. Grab the well done, and down we go, and just continue working our way towards this. I don't think anything outside of three plates we're going to need. Uh, I am going to try to get a well done off right here really quick, and then I'll throw this down, uh, and then uh, we will turn this into our spare rare, as I like to call it our spare rare, uh, and we'll see what this person needs here. Uh, they want a medium. This is almost done, so I'm just going to let this one become a medium. Uh, we'll throw it down here, feed them that medium, and then go ahead and start cleaning up this dish. So then when that medium's ready to go, we can throw it back on the dish, 
throw it down here, and then we're gonna get our rare going. I'm just gonna use this one as my stationary rare. And then we have our spare rare in case they double up on what it is. And we're basically done with the day for cooking outside of replacing what our current stake situation looks like. Uh, and this is where that spare rare comes in. So immediately I'll come over here, grab that down, grab this one and put it down there. And we're in a good spot. Uh, I think that's the end of the day if I had to guess, um, but I'm not exactly sure. But there we go. Uh, moving through the days now very quickly. Um, we did get a mixer, but we won't need one, actually. Um, we're going to keep researching. Uh, I may start buying some dining tables um, just to start stockpiling those so I can start making more area for myself when I want to. So dining tables are going to be huge. We know the theme day tomorrow. Uh, so we'll be picking our theme uh, that is on here. We'll put that right back down and I'm going to, I know I should, the mix I really don't need, right? Like it's just, it's one of those things that you just kind of don't need. Um, I actually should have put this in a different spot. Um, come to think of it. Uh, what I mean is, is so putting this table up here causes um, me not to be able to move. A, uh, what I want to do is be able to put a cabinet right here, right? Or counter, not a cabinet. Uh, so that allows me to continue to push myself further forward um, and I'm not chasing the little bit of things. Now, I don't even want to put a counter there actually. Um, that stinks. All right, uh, because I have the wall here, I wish I could turn this into a thing, but I can't. So we're just gonna get the day on the roll. Um, we gotta get our broccoli started right off the bat. It's probably one of the things I forget the most um, out here. I'm gonna go and get this research just done really quick. Uh, it is the blueprint. I couldn't remember it. So it goes copying blueprint uh, into discount. I always forget what the order is uh, when I'm not thinking about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw this on here. We're going to cook the medium first. I always cook the medium first. Uh, more out of habit, I think, partially. Uh, and we'll get the rare going. We'll throw this over here, and then we'll get our next steak started. Um, this one will probably turn into a full well done here uh, for us. Um, and that'll allow us to have that well done, ready to go. We'll throw that down and we'll start this one up and see what this customer wants. They want a medium, so we'll do a quick dish cleaning. That'll be ready for the medium. Grab that and then grab the broccoli. And um, that's why I like to keep a broccoli more accessible. Um, I didn't start up a, a dish, which is my fault. We've got our medium started. That's good news. So we're starting to build up our stockpile, which is, as I said, is always the goal with steaks, right? Is to get some sort of a stockpile started up. So then I can start this one up um, and I can just serve these right away, but I know I need a replace. So we'll let this one kind of keep cooking. We'll replace it really quick. And then we'll throw that one down on top of it. And hopefully we can get it to where right about when the medium's dropping is really what we're looking for here. I can grab that down and then put down our spare rare. And we've got our dish ready to go. So there's our spare rare. They need a rare. We'll go ahead and throw that over here. There's our spare rare going down on there. Um, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and slap this desk really quick. Get us to the end of the day. Actually, I don't. I'm, I'm So I'm actually not hating where the dishes are. Um, as time goes on, I'm not going to like it as much because they're in a bad spot. But right now, they're actually not in the worst spot imaginable. Um, because I'm, I'm putting a lot of the, my spare meats up here and then the ones that don't need it down here. And I'm using kind of the same dishes in general, um, which you do end up doing if you think about it. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm probably going to go exclusive here again. I almost always go exclusive if I have a choice. It helps with more cues and people and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I'm looking to see if I get lucky and get three candelabras, I won't buy this blueprint test today, which we did not get three candelabras. Um, so I'm going to grab this blueprint desk uh, and then I will buy a candelabra uh, and that will come out to the front. And when we buy that candelabra, uh, we'll put the other candelabra into the uh, blueprint cabinet uh, and that'll allow us to save it. So we'll have two uh, pieces already done. 
uh, which is important, right? Like, and that's really what I'm trying to look for here is just trying to keep the best things possible here. Um, I like exclusive. So why I pick exclusive over anything else? There's two reasons. One is it increases your Q patients. Two, you start making more money eventually. So there's actually a value um, that comes back to you when you get it. Uh, and three, it does have, uh, as I said, cheap stars that you can get. And also on top of it, there are rugs. Uh, and having rugs is a huge one because you can just start putting rugs down. Um, yes, they're flammable, but you can start taking advantage of some of those. But that's what we're going to do for day five. As I said, we got the blueprint desk, which is good news for us. We put the candelabra in the blueprint cabinet. Um, first things we're going to start looking for, I think pretty much right away, is blueprint cabinets uh, for this right one and research desks. Because um, we need to start, uh, really a blueprint cabinet would be the best. We need to start upgrading some of our appliances first. Uh, but if we can get another blueprint cabinet the next day we can chase a research desk so we can chase the right one and still get our upgrading materials started up too so hopefully we get a blueprint cabinet fingers crossed we'll see what we get uh outside of that maybe coffee tables are always a nice thing to have uh, that's kind of a new meta thing where we just pile tons of coffee tables in there so let's go ahead and get day six on the roll uh we're gonna get that started i probably didn't need to do it that way but uh it'll be fine uh, we'll throw this down. I've got a rare going. We'll get these broccolis going. I probably do need to buy another blueprint cabinet. Nice. Excellent. That That's huge for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the steak started up and see what we need to have. So we have a rare and a well done. We're going to call this one the rare. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the well done immediately on here and then throw another steak immediately on. This is just allowing me to continue working on the steaks. Um, and not have to worry about, see, there we go. That steak's already done. I should put another one on there before I even serve it. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. So we're running into a little bit of a mess issue, but as I said, this this will help us in the long run. Oh, I gotta move a, I gotta move a steak over. I forgot to do that. Um, putting this right next to it is gonna be huge for us. Uh, two mediums. Okay, so that stinks, unfortunately, for us here. I'm going to wait for this to pop through. Put that on there, and we'll start serving these mediums. Uh, two rares. Okay. One needs broccoli. Oop, I missed that by a hair. There we go. Feed those up really quick. Get on to making another steak. Um, this mess is going to be a problem if it doesn't get cleaned up soon. Um, I'm going to grab this rare, pull it off. It's a medium with broccoli. So we're going to grab this medium with the broccoli first, quickly serve that out, get this dish over here, throw, oop, throw another steak on. Um, we're really getting unlucky with cleaning up messes here. Uh, and we'll just see what happens here. So we have everything we need. That worked out really well. Our well done was finally worth it. And we'll get to the day. Uh, as I said, pretty much in general, what I like to tell people is like day nine is when you really start buying things, right? Like it's it's you're finally moving. You're finally getting going. Um, you have money. You're making money consistently. Um, and you do this. Uh, before I just automatically select this because I'm, I'm reading it while I'm talking to you, um, we're trying to make this as automated as possible. So avoiding things like thin cut steaks and stuff like that um, is extremely important. Uh, and Victorian standard, since we're solo, has no effect on us and we're not serving in the same room. Um, so we're just going to turn on Victorian standards and continue on the progress we're moving. We already knew we were going to buy this immediately. This was a known entity that we were going to buy um, with that being said, though, we have the candelabra, um, and then on top of it, because I do want to try to automate dishes, right? That is an eventual thing that I would love to do. Uh, automate dishes is probably one of the biggest things I like to do. That includes automating the washing section of the dishes as a note. So, um, I will go ahead and throw a sink in here and I am going to throw a hob into here. Uh, and then I'm going to swap these so we can upgrade both of them. And then I'm going to buy the dining table. Uh, 
a really getting two or three dining tables on top of the ones you already have is extremely important for automating things. Um, and this will allow me to start working on that, right? Once I have two of each row up here, um, it also allows me to have access to medium groups and all those kind of things if I need to. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this rolling. We'll get the broccoli started right off the bat. Um, and what we're looking for is honestly is a research desk out of the blueprint cabinet. Uh, I probably won't pull anything early. I don't hate a safety hob, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, we have a power sink, which isn't great either, but it's only 20 coins, so we may buy it. Um, and we'll see what we do here. I'm gonna put that down really quick, hand over this. Well done, Steak Arena. So we got the mixer. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, excellent. That worked out very nicely for us. Keeping an eye on that blueprint test the best we can is really the goal here. Uh, I don't have my hob working. That's a mistake by me. We might have the opportunity to get a well done gun here. I think we will. As a matter of fact, yep, so there's our well done immediately. Still keeping an eye over here, trying to find out something. That's This is why I won't use the booking stand anymore until we've reached the point where we have what we need. Uh, maybe they want a rare. We don't know. They want a medium, but we're going to get that rare, our extra rare here. Get this served up really fast. Hand that out. Get that moving again. Um, I'm going to turn this rare back into a standard. There's a conveyor. I'm tempted to grab that conveyor, right? Like, I know I need to start getting it, but I don't even have like a duplicating desk, and that's really what it comes down to. So holding out uh, for for a research desk is kind of important here. Uh, the only thing I would probably take over a research desk at this point is maybe a coffee table. Um, coffee tables just have a general purpose that you can't beat for many other steaks. Uh, I'm just going to continue prepping raw steaks here. Have my raw prep ready to go. <laughs> there we go. And we'll get this out and served. We got a lot of mixers. A lot of mixers. Clean up our mess just because we have the moment. I may or may not grab this. I don't know. I'm not happy with where our desk took us um, outside of a flower pot. I mean, I'm half tempted to grab this, right? Just lock it in because we're not going to get another cycling upgrade. Um, so that's at least better than nothing. Fortunately, we didn't get a research desk. Maybe we'll get one lucky here. Oh, we got a coffee table. That's about as good of a day as you could honestly get um, for what we were looking for because we're going to spend all 45 coins. Uh, having a coffee table is extremely important to us. As I said before, that is kind of like what we're going to try to push for here. Um, I am not going to be using this booking stand probably ever again. So I'm just going to pitch it. I'm not doing a speed run. Uh, if I have the time, I can find something else to do, right? Uh, as I said, though, I'm not happy with this power sink. Uh, I'm going to put the regular sink in here. Uh, safety hob is kind of meh at best. Um, I'm going to buy the coffee table. I'll buy the counter. Um, just on the off chance that we get lucky on some sort of razor or something, maybe, and we have a lot of money tomorrow. Um, but this is the last table we're buying, as a note. Uh, if you did not see that really quickly, uh, we are on the last table. I'm super excited um, because it's not a it's not a purchase we need to make anymore, right? Like we're we're good to go. Uh, we can also do this now too, where we force the messes of the customers eating away from us, uh, which pretty much means there's at least one square between us and any more messes that are going to be created by customers. Um, but I was actually just thinking about this. I'm actually going to keep this booking stand for now. Uh, I'm going to use it as a barrier between me and customers, right? It's just just in case I have to move desks or tables or something, I just can use it as a blocker uh, to keep that chair off me even though I turned it off. Uh, with that being said, we're just going to jump into day eight here really fast and continue on the progress, quickly grab some research. We'll probably get about one and a half done. Um, getting those steaks moving right away. We got chopping counter, kind of meh. Um, yeah, as I said, about one and a half. But we'll finish it up here on the raw steak run. Uh, we got our wash basin, right? Um, and because of how we're doing things, 
I probably should. Uh, I do need to get a hob upgraded though too. We're still looking for a research desk over here. That's probably the most important thing we're going to have uh, to chase down here for us. Let's go ahead and serve that. Let's see what this customer wants. They want a medium. So I'm just going to clean this dish really quick. Wait for the medium to pop up and serve them that customer. And I probably need to move that cabinet. That's probably the worst spot to have that for now for myself um, because I just simply don't need it there uh, because we had that extra table come in that I probably should have done something about, right? I should have moved that. That wasn't even me thinking uh, properly. But we'll go ahead and get this medium or this rare served out um, and continue working here. Uh, and I mean, the, the floor protector, by the way, is what I'm talking about. Uh, I should have <clears throat> moved it over here more because we pushed everyone back so far. This is worthless right here. So I'm, I'm wasting my time here. Let's see what they need. They need a rare. Oh, research desk. Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That really gets us started. Um, as a note, if you didn't know, you can kind of cheat that if you saw what I did there. Uh, and it's not cheating. Um, you can just give the side to anybody uh, and they'll all give you the sides. It's kind of nice. I'm just going to put that down really quick. Clean this dish. Find out what they want. They want two mediums. Excellent. Let's get a second medium started. Um, I do have a dish I need to clean. Um, I'm trying to decide right now, right, if I want to do the wash basin or if I want to do... And I think I want to go soaking sinks, honestly. Like, the wash basin's nice, right? It's good for storing things is really what it's good for, storing dishes when you're trying to create an automatic dishwashing system. Um, but chasing a wash basin later isn't the end of the world for me, right? I can even use, like, a dirty dish rack or something like that, right? So I don't think chasing a wash basin and spending my money on a wash basin is truly worth my time here. Uh, so I probably won't buy that. Um, barring what we have and what kind of money we have, but we do know we're going to be spending about 120 coin um, on the next day or possibly the next day, right? Uh, and then we're also going to be chasing down a hob. We have another sink here. So in general, I would say it's probably not the best to chase that down. Um, I want to get those soaking sinks started. So I am actually going to grab the second hob finally. Um, and really get that moving. Uh, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put this, where the sink is still functional. And I don't feel like I'm being crammed in somewhere. Oh, that's actually a good idea. And then we'll put this here. So I can grab that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Um, so what I did is I put this here and what, <clears throat> what I'm doing is this sink, I can continue to wash dishes on it, right? And it covers these spots here. Um, uh, I could even move it over one, honestly. Um, and it covers these spots for wetness. This will help prevent messes going in these general areas. Uh, I will only come back here for a little bit, but it helps prevent that. That means this one extends that area where I don't have to have messes. And really the only messes I have to deal with are over here. Uh, and with that being said, honestly, I do this once off the bat and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, we do have some research to do on the research desk and the sink. As I said, we're chasing down soaking sinks is what I'm looking for here. They're cheap uh, and very efficient for solo runs. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get this on the start. Uh, we also get to get two things going, right? That's why I said like that hob was kind of important uh, for us to get started. We got the copying desk, um, which is nice to have. Um, but it's not the, the you know, the, the necessarily the greatest <coughs> first one. Wash basin again. Oof. The game just wants us to have a wash basin. I normally don't get that. It's a medium. I got to get a broccoli on that one. Um, what are we looking for out of the second one? Out of the cabinet, I'm probably looking for that. Coffee table will be huge right now for us. I'm really upset that we didn't get what I wanted there. Go ahead and clear that out. Let's find out what they need. They need two mediums. So we'll go ahead and throw those down. Clean some dishes. 
prep that really quick for ourselves. There's our two mediums, enjoy, enjoy. Finish that dish really quick. Finish this dish really fast. And this is where those coffee tables come in so clutch, right? So we have two well dones here. Uh, so I'm gonna pop the second one and see if they have exactly what I was worried about them doing, um, which is another well done on top of it. Um, so we're gonna do the best we can to try to bury the well dones, right? Uh, and then we're gonna fire up a raw, well, not a raw, but a, uh, a rare. Oh crap, that's an oopsie. I don't, that might cost me a little bit. No, we're okay. There we go, clean up these messes really fast, clean up the dishes. Just keep these dishes going. So this is where the problems start to come in, right? Is when we have too many plates to deal with and I might have to buy that wash basin um, because we didn't get lucky with a soaking sink is really what this might come down to unfortunately um, which happens sometimes but it is what it is all right so we've got a full well done and a medium because it's time to do some dishes really fast there we go we'll serve those up really quick get them out of the way We'll just do those dishes really fast too. And we have everybody's done. Uh, we have four dishes also. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these orders, get them done and move on. Um, so we got another coffee table, which will help us out. Since we're not dropping nearly as many groups as we probably should in order to solve this problem. Uh, two rares, which is nice to do. There is one. And two, and two rares are off and running. And done and ready to go. Um, 